All right, guys, so welcome back to another video. So a few of my subscribers asked me about my setup. How do I connect my iPhone or my iPad to the screen or monitor? So I'm going to show you how to do it. Basically, all you need is this device right here, uh, which is from Apple. Make sure to get the original one, because uh, if you don't, uh, it might not work. It's very likely not to work. It might work initially, but ultimately it's not going to work. So don't chip out on this. Uh, it's about 40 to $50. I will leave the link below. So besides this, you're also gonna need a uh, cable, an HDMI cable right here. And all you gotta do is plug this end into the slot here. And then uh, what you have to make sure is that your TV or your monitor is on. So I'm not that it's on right now. So what I'll do is I'll plug the HDMI cable here Okay, this is actually a TV, so it could be a monitor or a TV, or a TV, it doesn't matter. And then I'm gonna make sure the iPad in this case, or it could be an iPhone, make sure that it's on, and then you just plug it in. Just wait a little bit, a few seconds, and then you should see the, the image that is in here and there. So that's it, that's all you need. You can just connect into your, uh, in this case, I have the Mibo Plus right there, so I'm connected to it. That's the the um, the connection, the Wi-Fi connection. I go into the E6 Connect, and you can see that it's just projecting from my iPad to here. And it could be the same thing with the phone, so it doesn't really matter. You go in, you sign in, and that's it, you're in. A lot of times what happens is that a lot of people plug it in and all the devices are off, and sometimes that doesn't work. I, I don't know why, but uh, for me it works every single time when the TV is on or the monitor and then when this is on so then make sure to plug then the tv or the monitor first and then your ipad or your iphone okay so remember when you have the tv or the monitor hooked in you don't need your your uh, your brightness here so what you want to do is just go ahead and uh lower your brightness that, that way you can save on a uh, battery life so you have more battery that way and it's not going to turn down the brightness on here so it's going to be the same here so on the projector the same thing you turn it on first uh, it's still daytime a little bit, but you can see a little bit of the light there. And then uh, after you turn it on, make sure to get the cable here. Get the HDMI cable right here. Plug it into the back of the projector. Then get the adapter here from the iPad. And you can just plug it in directly. And it should be able to read it. You can actually see it in there that uh, is reading it. There's the HDMI cable right there. There's the adapter. Make sure it's the original one. It goes to the iPad, to the projector. And then this is uh, projected to there. So quite simple. Uh, just make sure to turn this on first, then uh, connect it to the iPad while it's on. This works for any iPhone or iPad. Uh, and regardless of what it is, is the Mibo Plus I have it right now, it could be the Garmin, it could be any writer. As long as you have the uh, an iPhone or an iPad, all you're doing is projecting from the iPad and the iPhone to the screen uh, or a uh, projector. So all you need is the cable right there and make sure not to chip out on that because a lot of times, a lot of people tried it. They uh, only spent like $10 for it on the, this cheap cable and sometimes it doesn't even work and a lot of times it works like a couple of times and then it just dies so don't chip out on the cable it's a bit expensive it's about 40 to 50 dollars um but it's worth it because i have it for like a couple of years already and it's still going so once you have it connected everything is in real time there's no delay at all i'll show you a shot You can see that everything is in real time. There's no delay. It's just projecting from the iPad to the monitor. So anything you see here is in here. You can go back to see your shot if you want. Uh, get the analyzer right there. And everything is in real time, no delay. Uh, just make sure that it's connected directly to here. And one thing, make sure not to use this right here. If you want a longer HDMI cable, just buy one, don't connect it. Don't make, do not make this kind of connections because uh, when I try this, it just won't read it or sometimes it will start like uh, flicking a little bit. So I advise you against using this. This is the Apple cable right here. Uh, the way you know is because it has the, 
the uh, the Apple uh, writings here on the back. So there is a lot of imitations in Amazon, and they only cost like ten dollars, ten to fifteen dollars, or even like four ninety nine. But trust me, uh, they do not work, uh, or they will just die after like a couple of times of uses. So. This right here costs about 40 to $50, but I have this for over like two years and it's still pretty good. So I will not chip out on this. All right guys, so that was it for the video. A lot of people think that it's very sophisticated to set up a golf simulator and it's not. If you have one of those devices right there, all you have to do is connect it to your own phone using the Garmin or Mevo Plus or any other radar. Uh, you can use your phone or your iPad and project into a screen. You can project it to a monitor, a TV, I even did it on a on an old TV. As long as you have the HDMI cable on the back, it should work. And you can also use to connect your projectors. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.